But yeah, w- back to uh, Chris Hogan. He's probably next on the depth chart here of, of guys that are useful. Beneficiaries. Off the rip and have been. He's, he's currently at the 88th ADP. That number is probably going to climb with Edelman obviously serving your four-game suspension. Now we have no J-Mac. Kenny Britt's on the shelf right now with a little bit of a soft tissue issue. Hamstring tweak. They did just bring in Decker, mm-hmm. which is interesting. I mean, he'll probably come in, have 100 catches and 1,000 yards right. and <laughs> 10 touchdowns. Yeah, revived. Um, but, I mean, he's definitely an interesting flyer to, to, to take, a, take a stab on, old Decker. He could be. I mean, not, to me, the the guys that have been catching the balls around there have been a little bit shiftier than what Decker might look like on the field. Well, to um, his to his defense, right, he did have a, he had a pretty bad 16 where he tore his hip flexor and rotator cuff, possibly in the same game, is what the little blurb I read said. It's hard to do, right? And so you know he he didn't have a great 2017 he had 54 receptions on 83 targets for 563 yards and a touchdown which is actually a little bit better than what i was thinking in my head Mm -hmm. um but i mean tennessee wasn't the greatest on offense they were 28th in attempts and 26th in completions when you look at new england they were seventh in attempts with over 140 more targets or, or uh you know attempts passing and then first in completions right so he's it's a totally different team here and he's He's a veteran guy, and veteran, not, and he fit, he fits right in. He's handsome, right? <laughs> um, Got a hot wife. He's listed ahead of Britt right now on the unofficial depth chart, but that's probably just because Britt's not playing. Um, he's he's sitting out right now on the active pup list. So I mean, the Patriots lose 114 targets from Cooks. They lose 86 targets from Amendola, and another 36 from Deion Lewis. So that's 236 targets gone. Someone's got to get these targets because right. they're not going to just turn around and just well you know we got you got kenny Britt, whose adp is free. not able to be found right you can't <laughs> even find him decker obviously his adp is not able to be found cordero patterson just had a blurb on roto world today and it was, had a few I, blurbs his his adp is unfindable and philip dorsett who's you know he's been on the patriots the now for, man. for a little for was his third season there second season there no, I, I think I, they picked him up last year so i think i'm, I'm thinking two years so i mean He's probably getting a decent amount of first team reps anyway, because there's nobody else out there. Uh, Philip Dorsett, anyway, and he knows at least what's going on. So I mean, there's a couple of guys at the end of this thing that you could the Twitter com- add. the Twitter communities love and some Braxton Braxton Berrios and sure. Riley McCarron, right? Because they're the young, mm-hmm. you know, young uh, white slot slot guys, uh, un un uh, untainted people there. Nothing but nothing but upside on the guys you don't know. You haven't seen right. anything bad out of them yet. Which I'd I, rather have Decker. I think. Yeah, I think Decker's for probably to actually get some points this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm he's probably the one I'm most interested in. You know, I wanted to I wanted to jump on the Kenny Britt train, but I mean, he couldn't have had a worse 2017. It was just terrible. He basically quit on the Browns. They had a knee sprain, a How groin issue. Not? Missed a couple games. The Browns quit on the Browns. Yeah, Hugh Jackson wanted to bench him, but he couldn't because he didn't have enough healthy bodies. When he finally got healthy he finally did bench him he got sent home one week for missing curfew so did Corey coleman and uh just and then they released him in december after signing him to a four four year 32 and a half million dollar deal clears waivers and now he's a patriot so that's, that's a, a very patriot, patriot move <laughs> <laughs> that's a patriot move <laughs> and a browns move too so right. i mean i don't i don't mind spending my late round picks on any of those guys just well why not who's your favorite i mean decker right he's got to be i think you got to take a late round flyer on one of the this year guys i think you could try decker for free you could i mean decker might not be free in a couple of weeks if he plays in a preseason game which he may or may not uh, you know Britt is I mean, gonna I think if no matter healthy, what this is no gonna matter be what happens signing. after last year Britt's gonna be free and from Dynasty, I mean, you got to be looking at Barrios or McCarron, but they're saying McCarron's playing over Barrios at this point because Barrios has been hurt. And, you know, not that Barrios was drafted, but it was at the end of the draft. McCarron's a, you know, free agent pickup. So mm-hmm. I think for Dynasty, you got to put one of those guys on your team or both of them for free if you have the bench spots because everybody's looking for the next Julian Edelman. Right. And it um, just seems like Decker can fit right into that role. He already kind of does those things. He was yeah. injured, like you said, in 16 bad injuries. Um, and he's still, I mean, he's only 31. He just turned 31 in March. It's not that he's young, but he's not like he's 37. Yeah. Like, well, that's, he about, can still go out there and get in the middle of the field, sit down on his own and get opening. He's been playing well, that's, for a while. That's, that's what I was trying to say though, is like Decker's a bigger dude. He's been, uh, been habitually underappreciated for his size and ability to find a hole in the zone and catch passes when somebody not named Peyton Manning was throwing in the ball. 
but he you Tim know, Tebow. But he but he but he did it after he life after Peyton was all right for Decker. Right. So and before. Yeah, with exactly. Like said, yeah, yeah. So had a great time with the Jets. It's, that's what know. I'm saying. Broke up, busted out, busted out for the Jets. I mean, nobody would have seen that coming. So I mean, I like like you said, I think Decker can get in the middle of the field and sit down and be open, but he's not like Julian Edelman, run off the line, sure. fake to the right, right, you know, give you a little Z route or is it a, you know, Looks whip. like he, well, they a need a whip out, route. So they, he's need not an any they need an outside presence. There is like, obviously Hogan can kind of move around and play wherever you want. But I mean, so, like if Kenny Britt's not going to be out there, somebody needs to be out there being that outside yeah. presence for the. But Patriots. the way to catch, but but to Jay, Jay was talking about targets, you know, gone and the amount of catches and pass attempts and and completions that the the way the Patriots move the ball down the field, it's in the middle of the field, yeah. like between the running backs and the tight ends and the slot guys. Like so they have a lot of catches to go around, but generally speaking, it's not to the outside guys, you know. So I mean, the outside guys can go in the middle of the field. Cooks, well, Cooks did fine there, and Decker's played plenty of slot. I mean, but I don't. I mean, yeah, but I don't think thirty-one-year-old Decker is going to come in there and look like Brandon Cooks running around. No. So I don't know. Like it's it's a very perplexing situation. You don't. the The key here is that everybody's absolutely free, not named, you know, Gronk and Hogan and Julian Edelman should be cheaper with the suspension, which. Casey and I have joked about it in the past. Like, I like a guy coming off the PEDs. I mean, your Why starting you? three could very well be Decker, Britt, and Hogan. With Decker and Britt, or with Decker and Hogan moving around from slot to outside. Yeah. It, like, but, so your investment, out, you know, you can pick up a couple of these guys, stab around, and if you pick the wrong guys and well, after a week or two, you know yeah. who to drop and get into the waiver wire with. And if you pick up some lightning in a bottle, go for it, you know? I think with just playing out upside you're looking at Cordero Patterson the guy who's going to be probably returning the kicks for them and has been electric when he has the ball in his hands he every just hasn't time really panned out as a receiver so he's going to get those kind of attempts kick returning pump returning and you know maybe he can work his way onto the field like you just the blurb came out today it was he's been making you know highlight plays look routine out there so maybe he is finally figuring it out who knows but I mean there's a nice upside swing on you know a dirt dirt ADP at Dirt. He's not even in two. We're at two seventy three or whatever. Crazier, He's not even in there. crazier things have happened. He's probably know? out there on waiver wires. Like, like you can go pick exactly. Up, like I, and again goes back to the bench spots. If you have a big bench league, and of course you don't want to get tangled up and getting you know four or five guys from the same team. But think about what the Patriots bring to you. If you catch the right guy, he's right. a league winner. Oh, for sure. Or, you know, right. all of a sudden you got a guy to send your starting lineup every single week and. Cordell Patterson, he's like the Patriots kind of guy. It's like he's miscast on one team. You bring him in, and all of a sudden, I'm not saying he's going to turn into Julian Edelman, but this dude's obviously a physical freak. And that that video that was going around Twitter a couple months ago about how the handoffs, I mean, he's great. With You hand him the ball and get out of the way. He's a running back when he gets the ball. Yeah. That's why his kick return skills are so sick. You know, so, you know, the Patriots invented Wes Welker. They took him up. Wes Welker was nobody on Miami. They took him and made him. They invented Wes Welker's position, basically. Then they bring in Julian Edelman, who was a quarterback in college, and nobody wanted him, drafted him very late in the NFL, picked him up, threw him out there. So crazy brought things. Brought Amendola back around. Brought Amendola back around. You know, it's like, all right. So And then Chris Hogan just plucked him off a team. Is, and then he's nothing but gold when he's in, when he's healthy. He's a he's a if healthy kind of guy, just like Gronk. But when Chris Hogan's in there, he's a stud. So, yeah, to Jay Wayne's point, like he's free – the eighty, you could probably go up and pick up Cordell Patterson. I wouldn't be paying a lot for these guys, but if no, I got you're a not deep, going to be paying a lot for deeper, any of these deeper, guys. That's deeper, why we're still talking about them, right? Right, now. right. Deeper bench league, grab all, grab as many as you can put on your bench. I mean, I'd rather have a flyer off the Patriots, or I'd, I'd rather have three of these flyers off the Patriots and try to get lucky than have a flyer off of each team. Well, yeah, the, because this is an offense that we've seen sustain multiple players week in and, and week be, out, and be who? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Led the league in completions, right? Yeah. 